Today we're going to um, do a cabinet door using Nano 470 uh, white light adhesive using our, our locating stencil and some bevels and a piece of glass will be inserted into this cabinet door for a customer. What we need and what we're going to do use today is, uh, is what's called a light table. Now this table here is very very easily made, very simple. You had a, a bank of lights that we just built uh, a wooden housing around and we slid, slid it in there. This comes in different sizes. We have our uh, sensors, as I said, we have our piece of glass, we have our Nano 470 glass to glass adhesive, bevels, cleaning equipment, gloves. So uh, we're ready to start our project. Now we've got our locating stencil onto our piece of glass here and what we have to do is, is centre it. So we're going to take it uh, four and a half inches from the top and bottom, four and a half inches or um, 115 millimetres. And from the sides we've got three inches or, or 70, 77 millimetres, making sure that it's all square. I'm going to put some points there on the corners. Once, if you have many cabinet doors to do, once you've got these measurements set up, you can make a, 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 a draw your drawing to a, stem, a template onto the bottom piece of glass here. We have our locating stencil in place. Just going to fix it to the glass using some masking tape. Now before we've done all this, we've cleaned the glass surface. We didn't um, insult your intelligence and uh, show you how to clean glass, but uh, we used, uh, used our glass cleaning products just to clean the glass surface to make sure it's nice and clean. We also cleaned the bevels so the underside is nice and clean um, and also the edges so there was no polishing compound left on the side. So using our adhesive, it comes with a nib uh, that's sealed at the point. So what we want to do is just cut it off at the top on a 45 degrees. Now the adhesive is a mild irritant, so we advise that you uh, wear some disposable gloves. Now because this is a light table, and you can see the, the four fluorescent tubes underneath, just white fluorescent tubes, we have everything turned off. And what we're going to do is apply all four bevels together, turn our light source on, Turn it off and clean it up and you'll find this is a very, very quick process of getting a very good design onto a piece of glass. Now using our bevels here, we're using um, 51 by 152 millimetres or 2 inch by 6 inch um, diamond bevels. Using our Nano 470, we're just going to coat the, uh, the bevel as such, just giving it a light squeeze. As you see I'm going around the outside, the top side of it, coming out to the points. And I'm going to get this to run down. I'm just gradually lowering, lowering my bevel into the space provided. And give it a bit of a push, move around, and make sure that the adhesive is getting out to the point. So with a pointy bevel like this, it's sometimes a bit difficult. So sometimes you might have to put a little bit more adhesive on the points, move your bevel over. Now your, your locator will have enough room for you to move the bevel around. Now there's two millimetres each side of the bevel to do this. Make sure your bevel doesn't go underneath the, uh, the locator. Now what we'll do is just using some little bits of wood. It can be wood, pegs, anything, not glass. And we're just going to hold the bevel in place like such. The reason we do this is because we're going to put all four on together and we don't want the bevels floating off. So these little bits of wood are just going to hold it in place. Now, you don't have to worry about this adhesive going off prematurely. The lights above are probably about three or four uh, metres up. So at that distance, even at two metres or one metre, even at that distance, it's going to take about 20 minutes to, to 30 minutes to cure this without us actually initiating the light source. Just slowly lowering the bevel down. If you drop it, you'll have a lot of air bubbles in it. If you do it very slowly and, and imagine, a, uh, well, watch the adhesive wave flow from one side to the other, 
Move it around, making sure you have adhesive spilling out everywhere around the edges. And just line it up and just put a little bit of weight on with our little... Uh, before you cure it, just make sure that everything's okay, everything's lined up. We want everything pushed to the middle and um, to form this kind of cross in the middle. So make sure all the top ones pushed down, the bottom ones pushed up, right, left is all pushed into the middle. Now once I'm happy with that, I turn my light on. Take our adhesive away, put the cap on. Now we've waited approximately 30 seconds for this to cure and um, lightly touch it. They're all bonded on. I'm just going to remove our little stick helpers. A good idea would be to put them onto some tissue so we don't get adhesive everywhere. And just using our razor blade to remove the tape. And we'll just turn our light source off. Now back to our, our uh, diamond cluster here. And what I'm going to do is just remove any of the, the loose adhesive around the top using our tissues. These are Kimberly Clark low lint or lint free tissues. Now because we've cured from the bottom and the excess adhesive is run underneath the stencil then um, we're going to have a bit of this um, residue gone a little bit hard. So just using a razor blade, we're just going to slice that off. Being very careful with razor blades, you just always use a safety razor blade or you can use a, uh, a snap knife. So we'll just take this off and a little bit of management here. Keep it all nice and neat over there so it doesn't uh, contaminate any of the other areas. Usually run around the edge of the uh, glass piece first with the point of the razor blade. Now I've just scraped up off the hard, uh, the hard adhesive. This, this is just using normal detergent and water. And these are our little 3M delicate scourers. Now what we like to do is go away from the points. These are very sharp, pointy um, bevels. Like they're not going to cut you because they're polished. But we don't want to, um, if we go this way, we're going to uh, possibly clean underneath the edge, which we don't want. So just clean away from the points. And what the idea of these scourers is, it just soaks up all the excess adhesive. And as it gets, as it gets full, it gets thinner, and you'll feel that it gets a bit sticky. So out of our sheet, we cut little squares like this up, and as they get full, we just change them over. And uh, just detergent water. Now you, in a commercial situation you could use again methylated spirits or uh, shellate or, or 3M uh, adhesive remover. Um, and as you'll see, just using detergent water and the scourer, these uh, bevels have come up brilliant. Just using a bit of glass cleaner now. Quick clean. And we have our, our cabinet door. Ready for our Devils.